Sputnik Monroe. He wrestled from 45 to 1988. Okay. Now, have you heard of him at all? No. No. Oh. I, I heard the name, but I knew knew a little about him up until like this uh this like wrestling gaming community. I knew started talking about him. So he he was like he was huge. He set an attendance record in Tennessee that lasted until the Monday Night Wars. So I wow. so I mean he he huh. he drew big big crowds. And you notice how race racist the South was. So right. I used that as a promotional tactic. And at the mo at the time that he was wrestling, legal segregation was considered like the norm. So so right. he was totally out there. He had the diamond tip cane, the flashy robes. He only hung out in black bars and had he only socialized with the black patrons. But then cool. he started giving out tickets, free tickets to the shows because. There were two different sections. Uh, the black people were sitting in the balcony and the white people were sitting on the floors. And he, he started giving out tickets to, to everybody in the black community. So the cops started arresting him and he would keep getting out and keep doing it over and over again. So mm -hmm. eventually the white section was half full and the balconies and, and the black section were full of the capacity. So he, he eventually became the biggest draw in the territory. And, and he oh. said that he refused to perform in any arenas unless all patrons could sit in any seat regardless of race. So that was that was like a big thing, and then the a promoter eventually had to had to buckle, and they sold fifteen thousand tickets, completely sold out, and then eventually all other uh, southern events started following this trend because of him. That's incredible. That's incredible. I I don't know why or how come I didn't know that story. Did you know that at all, Jim? Did you ever hear about that? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's incredible. He's like the Hank Aaron of professional wrestling, right? <laughs> like he's oh, yeah. the guy who broke the the color boundary. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. mixed tag teams all the time for him. He he. He just changed a lot of things. Didn't know I didn't know anything about him up until like maybe within the last year. Yeah, it takes I think a lot of courage for you to be able to break down boundaries when you know, for example, what you believe is right, but the rest of the world doesn't see it that way, right? I think that's really heroic. And what you're right, he's absolutely heroic for doing that. Yeah. Way, way ahead of his time.